Hello everybody, this is Wolfpack Gaming, and today I'll be showing you how to set up an R4 card and play Game Boy games on an original 2DS. Well, this isn't really original anymore, but still 2DS. So what you'll need, an R4 card of course, with an SD card. Doesn't matter the size, as long as it's over like a couple gigs. And you'll need the little SD card reader to go into your computer, because I found out that it only works with this, so, sorry. And, well, don't worry, because it comes with it. Alright, so let's get on the computer and I'll show you what to do. Alright, we are at the computer, and I've gone to the website listed on the front of the package. And I'm going to click the Gold Pro, since that's the one I have. Or you have the Dual Core or the RTS Lite, it depends which one you have. I don't know if these are sold anymore. So, click the Gold Pro. Now it'll be virtually the same for everyone to download. So now go down to kernel download area, click English or any of these languages, I, I speak English, and then click OK and then download it. And get you'll get this file. Drag it on your desktop and they'll give you this folder. Now select these files and move them to your SD card. Alright, the files have been moved to the SD card and the first thing you want to do is make a new folder and call it game. It has to be uppercase. And now the emulator we're going to use is called Lame Boy, and it is on nutkey.com, and well, lameboy.nutkey.com. I'll put a link in the description. And then you put click on this link, and then click OK, and download it and unzip it, but only unzip the lameboy.nds, and you move that into your game folder. And now. This can play Game Boy games or Game Boy Color games. So, I'm going to make a Game Boy folder and a Game Boy Color folder. Okay, and then drag your dot, dot .gb into here. Has to be dot .gb. Has to be. And for your Game Boy Color, has to be dot .gbc. All right. Go back to the couch, and I'll show you if it worked or not. Hello everybody, we are back to the camera, and we have the R4 card in the DS. So it'll come up as Touch Bomber Man Land Nintendo. Just click A to launch it, it'll take a bit. So just wait, and it should show a white screen, and then a little bit later it'll say loading, yep. Now you want to click on the little controller with A. Wait for the load and do lameboy.nds. Just click A and it'll start loading. And you'll come up to this little menu. Let's play a Game Boy game. Because I like Game Boy games. And remember, it has to be .gb. Click A and it'll load and it'll be on the top screen. Awesome. And to change the size, you hit the Y button. Makes it bigger. Now, if you want to exit this game, hit your right shoulder button. And then keep hitting your right shoulder button until it brings up this menu. You can exit, continue, save, load, delete state, all your save state, and reset the game, but we're going to exit. And you go back in your folders, click the two little dots, and go down to your Game Boy Color, and do top to your pocket. I like this game. It'll be on the top screen again. And the sound and audio does work fine. It's nothing perfect, you know, it's emulation. But again, I can't tell you where to get ROMs or anything, but it's the internet. You can figure it out. So, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. See ya.